Last week, NASA sent a small asteroid explorer into space as part of a journey to the moon, but it has yet to contact Earth. NASA's Artemis 1 mission, which was launched on November 16th, carries 10 CubeSats, one of which was named Near-Earth Asteroid, or NEA Scout. The spacecraft is intended to use solar power to propel itself when it flies by the minor asteroid 2020 GE in the next year or so. Something appears to have gone wrong after the CubeSat was launched. The Near-Earth Asteroid Scout, or NEA Scout, project team has not yet established contacts with the spacecraft, despite its safe separation and deployment from NASA's Space Launch System, or SLS, on November 16th. The effort to reach NEA Scout continues, as stated by the teams working on it. The crew of the NEA Scout is keeping their fingers crossed that the spacecraft's unconventional propulsion method will aid them in locating the CubeSat. NASA claims that the 924-square-foot solar sail, which was packed inside the tiny spacecraft, is bigger than a racquetball court. According to a NASA official, the NEA scout was supposed to release its sail in early December and utilize the solar energy, striking it to go to the asteroid. Instead, NASA employees broadcasted a directive for an emergency solar sail deployment twice on Monday, November 21st, despite not receiving any communications from the spacecraft, in the hopes that the highly visible sail would lead them to the CubeSat. NASA said that if the spacecraft is listening and has successfully deployed its sail, it might be viewed from telescopes on Earth. Multiple ground-based observatories are actively searching for the NEA scout and sharing data, which will be very helpful in determining the spacecraft's state. A number of the CubeSats launched with Artemis 1 last week have been having trouble, not only the NEA Scout. As an example, the Japanese lunar lander Omotenashi failed to reach the moon on its scheduled date, while the NASA CubeSat Luna H map failed to detect an important engine fire as it zipped by the moon on Monday. Knowing that CubeSat missions were riskier than those of bigger spacecraft, with built-in redundancy and longevity, the agency decided to include them on Artemis 1. Some of the other CubeSats that went into orbit last week are performing better than expected. It has been reported that the second Japanese mission, EQUULEUS, has successfully completed its first lunar flyby, while an Italian CubeSat Argo Moon is safely beaming home spectacular images of the Moon and Earth. If the NEA scout is able to return to Earth, it will be the first solar sail launched by NASA. If it is able to approach asteroid 2020 GE without incident, it will likely perform the slowest asteroid flyby to date, and 2020 GE will become the tiniest asteroid visited by any spacecraft. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.